Hello, this is Lorraine Lilly of Let's Start Design. Today I'm going to do a short video on how to introduce a blog to your website and why we should be blogging. So just a, a brief overview. A blog is really a series of short essays or postings within a website. They are used to inform customers about trends, industry knowledge, and also can be used to answer frequently asked questions. So you can see in this little image here why blog and as I said we can talk about our industry it informs your customers and creates a credibility with your customers it helps to answer typical questions that also helps to build trust and integrity you should frequently update the content on your website and by doing a blog this is an easy way to do so it improves your Google ranking and helps you to be found more easily uh, when a customer or a potential customer is doing a search online. And lastly, regular blog posts can be distributed to your clients either through social media or email. And this really reinforces your brand um, and helps stay in the forefront of their minds so that there might be potential referrals to their friends. So that is a quick overview of why we should blog. And now we'll move on to how we actually create our blog on our Wix website. The first thing we'll do is log in to Wix.com. You will come up with your particular site. So we're going to edit this one site here, which I uh, created um, called Ultimate Design. So select site. And you'll see that this page comes up. And we can go directly to our blog here, or we can go in and manage and edit the site. And so we'll bring up on the home page and then we're going to select the blog page or add a blog if you haven't already got one. And up here we have our pages which you can see here um, design services portfolio contact and blog so it does have already a blog now there are two ways we can go into it we can either click right on the blog here and it will take us to the blog page or we can go to my blog which is our blog manager and if we just wanted to add one single new post we can add a new post or if you want to manage your blog you can just go in here and that takes you to any uh, drafts that you have in your site Let's close that out and you can see here what the layout is we're going to have here is where our posts will be and then there um, is an element here called featured posts and we can star each post and if, if we want it to appear on under featured posts and it they will then scroll through the posts. Here will be where the most recent ones are. And then we can also add tags or categories to our blog so that when people go to search they can easily be found. So let's start by adding a new post. We have a layout here where we're going to type in our title and at the top is where you can add images, um, a photo gallery, some video, etc. So we're going to begin by adding a title and the name of this uh, particular post is going to be called Trends in Kitchen Design. And we're going to put in the author name as Ultimate Design, but you can uh, add your name if you prefer, if you're the owner of your company. And I'm going to paste in some text from a Word document. So we're going to open up our Word file and literally cut and paste it in. So that's been pasted in and we want to also add an image. So I'm going to click at the top here in front of the first letter and add an image from Wix's image file and you see this opens up so you either have all your media where you have uploaded images yourself and if you want to upload an image you click here and you will be able to select an image from your your own files so you'll go to your files and find your image click on it and then it will bring it in and you will select that but today I'm going to choose something from Wix from their uh, photo database I'm going to type in kitchen. It will bring up all the photos that it has for kitchens. And I'm going to choose this. And once you've selected it, you see the tick here. And then you hit apply and it will post it into the blog page. You can easily resize pictures by clicking in the corner here. And you see that it can be small, medium, large or extra large. I tend to do large as a size. And you also want to 
here where it says alt text, this is really what Google is going to be looking for. So it's really important that you add the alt text so that it appears in Google searches. So I'm going to type in ultimate design kitchen and Portland where we're located, this particular company. If you want to edit the text, you can just click within it. You will see that a little editor pops up that allows you to either change fonts. I would always recommend staying with the font style that is common to the website so you have a consistent theme. So if you don't know what that is, check with your designer or just go back to your uh, pages and see what font has been used throughout. And you can alter the size of the font by dragging up and down or we, you can make it bold by highlighting it. Um, and when you write a blog post, I often get asked how many words should I write? And you really want to aim for under 600. People have a short attention span. Uh, there is a statistic that says that people take in 28% of the words on a, a given page. So um, I always think it's good to, to bold type or to add some bullet points to make, really make it stand out and certainly add as many images to convey the message. So we're going to add another image in here. Image, going to do the same thing again where we go to Wix to upload an image. Type in kitchen. I'm going to choose this one. Hit apply. And again resize. Oops, down to large. I might move this over to the side. And then perhaps move this one over to the left side so that we're going to leave it a little bit. Actually, I might make this one a little smaller. Great. So in our text here, I have a link, um, info at Ultimate Designs. So it's a, an email address. So I just want to make that live from my blog post. So if I highlight it, um, you get a text editor that comes up. And here we can create a link. So if you click here, and we want it to be an email address. So it's info at ultimate design. Okay, so that's set up. The next thing we're going to do is add what we call tags and categories, which is over here on the right. And they really help um, for somebody who's coming to the blog for a first time to be able to look for articles based on certain themes. A broader theme is the category, so I think if we added kitchen as a new category, and then tags would be almost like a subcategory. So we might do wood, stainless steel, let's see, lighting, okay, as subcategories. And so then when we publish this, that will post to our blog page. So now that we have put in our text and photos, um, I think it'd be good to just look um, where we can preview what that post will look like. So if we preview here, and it will bring up what it will look like in our post. And you can see the tags down here at the bottom, our link, which would be live to the email. Um, and up here is our broader category. Now I'm not loving the, the gray background and the, the color of the text, so that is something that we can go in and change next. So you'll notice at the top here that that opened in a separate tab, so we're just gonna close that out and go back to where our blog post has been written. And we're gonna publish this post so that we can go in and change some of the look of the post published. And right now it'll ask us, to, would we like to email it through Wix Shoutout, which is a newsletter program built into the website, or you can post it to Facebook or onto Twitter or on LinkedIn. If you're ready to do that, you can, you know, you can choose to do those, or you can just hit maybe later, which I often go back and do at a later time. So if we just close this out, and you can see here when we get onto our blog page that the first post is here. And as I mentioned, I'd like to change the settings or what the look is of the post. So click on layouts and you see here that we can play around with how it would look. I'm kind of liking this kind of look. So when it opens up, it will look like how we created the blog post. But from here down, as we put in more posts, they'll all be lined up with this look. And then I'd like to uh, try and change some of the colors. And we do that through this little uh, brush here, which is the design 
So click on design and we can change all these elements. Title refers to here, the post body refers to here, the image of course you see, the date and author is here, the categories we have there, the kitchen and the read more button we can also change the look at. And we also change the background design so we can change the color of the background. So the first thing we're going to change is the background because that may alter the look of all the different colors of the different elements. So we're going to click design and I think we'll just um, go with a white box to begin with to see what it looks like. But I think it might look better if we add a border to this box. So we're going to, although we've chosen a white background, we're going to customize the design. And at the top here you can see that there are different kinds of frames or things with drop shadows or gradients that we can add to change the look of our log. So going back to that first one and you can then go in and change different things like the border. You can change to a different color if you like or that blue that we like and the width refers to the size of the frame. So if you go up it becomes a wider frame. If you go down it'll be thinner and I think thinner looks better with our and a contemporary design. Go to the brush, perhaps change the title and let's change that color to the brown from our logo. And here these are colors that we added earlier. Every color has a hex code here. It's a six digit code and that can be found by adding color and you can drag up and down the different colors here and within that different colors and the one on the right is the new color, the one on the left is the old color, and this is the hex code. So let me just cancel that post body and again switch it to that brown. Change the read more button. Better. And they, it gives you two options. Um, again, there are different buttons to choose from, but once we've chosen, I've chosen this one that seems to set off the page a little bit with a little drop shadow here. Um, you've got the regular color where it's a white background and the brown font and then when you hover you have the option to change that so we could make that blue as the background and then that blue as brown. And to see how that looks we can just preview so when you scroll over it turns to blue. I'm going to save that at the top and then every blog post that we add will then have this very, it will look just like this. I'm going to change this kitchen one actually as well, category, customize the design to make it that blue, I'm changing the text here, change that to brown. white so let's, let's see so we've changed the background it, on hover it will be a brown background and the text color will be white so let's just preview that back to editor and save there are a few more things that we need to do before we uh, finalize this lesson. So I'm going to go back into Manage Posts and choose to edit the post that we did. And the one thing we haven't done, I've talked about SEO. So SEO, search engine optimization, is something that we do so that we enhances the chance of our blog article being found online by the search engine. So when we go into advanced SEO, you'll see here um, the title and this is one thing that uh, Google will look for and then the description. And I think it's, we haven't done it here, but often uh, it's good to mention within the made a description the name of your company uh, somewhere or keywords related to your business so that you, it helps you be found. If you're in a specific area if your business is tied to a geographic area it's useful to to mention that too so that helps um, to be found the this is done automatically the excerpt here is a piece from your text so what we need to do is go in and just highlight a piece of text 
can command C to copy it. Go back into advanced SEO and we can paste it in here. Hit done and you can see here what the pre preview is. So once we finish doing the advanced SEO, uh, we're going to make this particular post a featured post. And you do that by just clicking on the star here. You wouldn't do that with every post, but if you think you've written something that is really key to your business, you might want to highlight four or five posts over the course of a couple of months. In terms of how many posts you should do, uh, I think at any business, if they are doing at least once a month, preferably twice a month, they're blogging, it would really help. And I think any if it's sometimes too much, blogs distributed to your clients might turn off your clients. So I think once or twice a month is a good balance. One of the tips I would have for you is to um, put a reminder in your calendar each month to go in and do update a blog post. Um, if you can just get in the habit of doing it once a month, you might then uh, be encouraged to do it twice a month. Or if you have a spare moment, if you're on a plane or you're commuting to work or, um, on a train, you can just email, you know, write your blog, email it to yourself, and then when you're ready, you can create it and you can just save it as a draft and you can. Uh, you know, schedule it to be sent two weeks later if that works for you. So really find time within your uh, business to do it and I think you'll really be rewarded. We updated this by saying that it's a featured post. I'm just going to update the post so you can see what that looks like. Uh, maybe later. And close out of this. And you will see then here on the right on your blog page your featured post will be. When you have several featured posts. This will scroll through so you can see the different um, posts. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me at Lorraine at letstartdesign.com or you can visit my website at www.letstartdesign.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.